Central Laboratory in Sao Paulo, Brazil, researchers are putting a mind-controlled robotic exoskeleton through its paces. If all goes to plan, it will make its public debut at the World Cup in June. This is the most important room because the patients relearn to walk here using the brain activity and interacting with the avatars for their training. As you can see in a moment, the patients on a standing uh, walking device. Miguel Nicolelis, a neuroengineer based at Duke University in North Carolina, is training patients to operate the exoskeleton. To start with, they practice on a treadmill with standard rehabilitation equipment. This is the mechanical shop where we are testing all the components. A little soccer too. And here we have what is now the most important room where the patients work with the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is controlled by a cap fitted with electrodes that pick up the wearer's brain waves. These signals are sent to a computer that tells the exoskeleton how to move. The first demonstration is planned for the opening match of the World Cup on the 12th of June. It's a big step and could ultimately make wheelchairs a thing of the past.